Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen zur Filmpreisnacht der Nordischen Filmtage 2015. Bitte begrüßen Sie den neuen James Bond, Jared Di Baba. Moin Lübeck! Wie geht es euch? Moin zusammen! Hallo! Begrüße Sie alle zur Filmpreisnacht. Schön, dass Sie hier sind. Fantastisch. Ja, zum 57. Mal kommen wir hier zusammen, schauen schöne Filmchen. Alles gut gelaunt. Perfekte Showtreppe. James Bond, ein super Publikum. Ich finde, mehr geht nicht. Wie ist die Stimmung? Fantastic! Ich habe mich wirklich gefreut. Das war so ein bisschen wie, wie Weihnachten für mich. Wie ein kleiner Junge habe ich mich gefreut, hierher zu kommen. Wir stimmen ja auch so ein bisschen die Vorweihnachtszeit ein. Lübeck ist so ein schönes, nettes, kleines Städtchen. Die Gassen, die kleinen Butzen, wo man so durchschaut. Dann ist es so ein bisschen schummrig und dunkel. Ich finde es herrlich. Das ist so ein bisschen wie nach Hause kommen zur Familie. Und trotzdem ist ja alles hier International, aus der ganzen Welt sind sie zusammengekommen und deswegen habe ich auch für sie wieder heute drei Sprachen im Paket. Also das war Deutsch, für die, die es nicht wussten. Now in English, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody who came from all over the world. How are you doing? Everything okay? From Scandinavia, from the Baltic countries, from the rest of Europe, from the USA, from Africa, from, ah, from everywhere. I'm happy you are here. I said it's international. I love to come to Lübeck because it's like coming home for me. It's the third time and uh, I feel Lübeck is my family and I'm here and I feel Nordic, I feel Scandinavic. So we have, uh, it's, yeah, it is, it is, I do. Why are you laughing? Yeah, uh, it's, you see, we have the same hairdresser up there, yeah. I love it. I love it. That's great. No, what I wanted to say is that we're international. It's cozy, it's tiny, it's uh, elegant, but it's international. So this is why I'm switching from language to language. Und dorum schnackt wie natürlich auch ein bisschen Plattdeutsch. Also all der Platt schnackt. Moin zusammen. Now you're asking yourself why is Dibaba dressed up like this? Because it's the very few opportunities to wear a tuxedo. I mean, tonight I have the chance to be James Bond, you see? And I feel like James Bond and it's uh, every man I think wants to be James Bond. Do you want to be James Bond? Yes. What about you? You want to be like, if you say no, I don't believe you because everybody wants to be James Bond. As a little boy, as a big man, I say, no, you want to be James Bond. First, of course, because of the money. I mean, the new James Bond Spectre, 50, almost 60 million euros in the kino kassen. Imagine. <laughs> This is a hell of money. But that's not all. I wanted to be James Bond tonight because of the Bond ladies. <laughs> yeah. And we have so many Bond ladies here tonight. You look so beautiful, honey. I love your smile. You're my Bond lady tonight. And you as well. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. And you look great. I love that one the, with colors on the head. No, not you, but her. I like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I love it. It's terrific, really. I'm your James Bond for tonight, okay? My name is Dibaba. <laughs> Yare Dibaba, Special Agent 006. Yes, but now you ask yourself, how did Dibaba manage to be James Bond? How did you like, did you like the film up there? Did you like the opening? Yeah. yeah. Now, you might, you might ask yourself, how did Dibaba manage to be James Bond here? It's very easy to answer. The organizers of this festival, they said, Jared, and this is what they ask always the hosts of the night here, you have a wish. We can fulfill nearly every wish. I said, yeah, I want to be James Bond. There is no question. They said, okay, so now I'm James Bond instead of getting money for tonight. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Now I'm your James Bond. And the other reason is uh, maybe you asked why I wanted to be James Bond. It's maybe you heard in the news or you read in the papers that Daniel Craig was complaining about James Bond. Did you hear? He was complaining, he said, ah, bad character, I don't want to play, I want to quit. So the rumor was going around that he was, wanted to quit. 
and the producers were really angry and they were thinking about the next James Bond to fire him. And I think they smoked something, I don't know what happened. They were thinking of a complete new James Bond. They were thinking of a black James Bond. <laughs> On top of that, it got worse. They were thinking of a black James Bond and a black gay James Bond. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay. Now it's the time because I feel, thank you for this warm applause. This gives me the feeling, this gives me the feeling that I can open up a bit. It's uh, normally I don't speak about my private life in public. But rumors were going around in the internet and blogs and uh, people were talking. And, and I think now is the right time to tell you the truth. You want to know? I think it's the right moment for my outcoming now, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody knew people were talking about that. The truth is, yes, I am black. <laughs> oh, that gay thing is no problem for me. I would do that. So I think now I can come to the second step. I think, you know, when I'm in cinema, I'm the first who goes into the cinema. I'm the last who leaves the cinema because I'm sitting to the very last moment. I watch the credits to respect the people who made the movie. Yeah? Because a lot of effort is in a film. So I was reading the names who made that possible and everything. And every time when I was in a James Bond movie, I wrote that name. Salzmann and Broccoli. Salzmann and Broccoli. I wrote the name, the research on the internet. Now I have the numbers. Tonight I will apply for a job as the next black gay James Bond. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk too much about myself. Please welcome the organizers of this great festival with a great and loud applause, the artistic director Linda Fröhlich and Linde Fröhlich, pardon, and Christian Modersbach as managing director. Here are they. Wow! Wow! Happy people, happy faces after a few days uh, film festival. How is the feeling if you look back, Linde? Oh, it's so short. I have met, uh, the impression it just started. And then it's over? Yeah. Yeah, this is what my wife says all the time. <laughs> Sorry. How was it for you, Christian? Also extremely short, but super intense and lovely. I just love it. Yeah, I'm super. I mean, after you, you were many years here organizing everything and uh, looking forward to it, doesn't it seem like a routine for you when you come to it? Oh, I think it's like a Bond movie. I think you have seen all the Bond movies. But every, one, uh, every time a new one comes up, you get excited. And you're wondering how it will look like and who will be the bad guy and the Bond girl and everything. And the closer it gets, the more excited you get. And I think it's the same with the film festival. It's the same. By the way, what do you think uh, of the idea, me as a next uh, Bond, uh, James uh, DiBaba, 006? Wonderful. May I be your Bond girl? Oh, yes. <laughs> Could we talk about it? That's a good idea. We make a good picture, eh? Christian, actually for an awarding light like this, you should wear dress up more like this. You come with a pullover with a funny sheep on that here. <laughs> What's wrong? Your mom didn't... <laughs> I mean, your mom didn't dress you like this, I think. No, it's not my mom. Although she's here in the audience, but it's not her. Do you want to say hi to your mom? I want to have this moment for me, when, this special moment everybody likes being on TV. Hey, Mama. <laughs> no, but getting back to the pullover, it actually it's an Icelandic Rams pullover that I received at the award ceremony, and not the award, but the opening ceremony on Wednesday evening. So, and this pullover made me famous. And, I mean, you want to be famous, but you fail, obviously. 
This makes me famous, really. I was the most popular person this evening, and I got so many people touching me, so I have to put it on again. It's great. I can live with it being number two. <laughs> I can live with that. So, I mean, tonight we have the awarding ceremony, and many people will go here and say thank you to the family, to the producers, to the directors, to the to the agents, to whatever. So, uh, Linda, do you want to say thank you to anybody for the last days, maybe for the last year? Of course. I want to thank all the producers and distributors, the world sales companies and film institutes who trusted us and gave us uh, their films, all the filmmakers who came here to present their films in person, all the jury members who did a great work, and of course, the audience which filled the cinemas to make it a great festival. Thank you. That's for you. What about you, Christian? Of course, I want to thank the fantastic team of the Nordic Film Biz. All those people who make it happen, you know, all these people with their heart, their hands, and their brain. Um, yeah, it's an amazing experience to have all these uh, people to be united and to make it happen. Thank you very much. And it happened. And there's so many people making this possible. Now, you have worked a lot, I think, the last days and weeks and months. So now is the time for you to relax, to sit, lean back and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Linde Fröhlich and Christian Modersbach. Yeah, it's your applause. So I try to switch a little bit to English, to German now in this moment um, because um, we are now receiving one of the toughest, the roughest, the most brutal, the most honest jury on the world. It's the children's jury. Meine Damen und Herren, wir freuen uns jetzt auf die strengste, auf die ehrlichste, auf die gnadenloseste Jury, die es überhaupt gibt. Das ist die Kinderjury und die vergeben den Preis der Kinderjury. Einen großen Applaus für Björn Zimmert, Jon Henry Nett, Sophia Balke und Josefine Gießen. Herzlich willkommen! So, jetzt kommt ihr aber erst noch mal ein bisschen hier, kommen wir in die Mitte der Bühne, damit euch auch alle sehen. Jon, komm, alle Mann hierher. So, jetzt habt ihr ja ein paar Tage Filme gucken können. Wie war's, Sophie? Sophia, pardon, Sophia. Also, ich fand's richtig super und es hat einfach Spaß gemacht. Wie viele Filme habt ihr geguckt? Fünf. Das ist ja cool. Und ihr habt schulfrei gehabt deswegen, ne? Na klar. Sonst hat... Ist ja ein richtiger Beruf, Filme gucken, ne? Auf jeden Fall. Was hat denn am meisten Spaß gemacht? Diskutieren. Ja, wenn du so diskutierst, wie du jetzt sprichst, ich weiß nicht. Aber das ist der Unterschied, ich kenne das von meinen Söhnen, die kommen nach einer Woche von der Klassenfahrt wieder, ich sage, wie war's? Gut, was habt ihr erlebt? Och, eine Menge, das war's. Mehr kann man gar nicht fragen. Deswegen, wie haben die Jungs denn mit euch diskutiert? Haben die viel geredet oder waren es kurze, knappe Worte? Äh, kam auf den Film drauf an. Ja, ehrlich? Und wie war es denn überhaupt? Wie sprecht ihr über die Filme? Also tatsächlich stelle ich mir das schwierig vor, ähm, da differenziert über die Filme zu sprechen. Wenn man die guckt, ich würde in eurem Alter, hätte ich gesagt, oh, der Film war gut oder schlecht. Äh, wir haben Fragebögen ausgefüllt und die dann später besprochen. In der Runde? Ja. Wart ihr euch immer einig? Äh, nee, es gab auch Unterschiede. Also ja, die haben wir dann halt besprochen. Siehste. Und was hat dir am meisten Spaß gemacht in der Runde, Jon? Filme gucken eigentlich, ganz ehrlich. Filme ganz, gucken. ganz ehrlich? Ja. Könntest du das öfter machen? Weil ich meine, ihr habt ja schulfrei gekriegt, das ist ja schon so Filmkritiker, ist schon, äh, ne? Ja, man kann es öfters machen, aber nicht zu oft. Die Hausaufgaben werden dann zu viel. Ja, man kann sich das ja einteilen. Man muss ja nicht zu viel. Gibt es irgendwas, was ihr vermisst habt, was man vielleicht besser machen kann? Habt ihr genug Essen gekriegt, Trinke, Süßigkeiten oder sowas? Popcorn und Trinken. Was damit? Die haben wir nicht bekommen. Nee! Nee, das kann nicht angehen. Skandal, ne? Skandal. Es ist jetzt die Gelegenheit, vor einem Millionenpublikum jetzt hier nochmal Forderungen zu stellen. Ja, auf jeden Fall bitte daran denken, ne? Also. So, weiß Bescheid, ne? Alles klar. 
Gut, dann wollen wir jetzt natürlich wissen, ähm, wer die Preise bekommen hat oder den Preis bekommen hat. Das ist ja ähm, euer Rednerpult und ihr verratet uns jetzt, äh, wer, warum und mit welcher Begründung jetzt den Preis bekommt. Den Preis der Kinderjury heute Abend. Bitte schön. Ja, genau. Ja. Alter Profi. Ja, ich habe das Recht darauf. Fühl dich wie zu Hause. So. <lacht> Gut. Ja, muss man machen. Ja. Test. Meine Damen und Herren, wir, Sophia, Björn, Josephine und ich, John, sind die Kinderjury der 57. Nordischen Filmtage Lübeck. Unsere Aufgabe bestand darin, fünf verschiedene Filme anzuschauen und den besten von ihnen auszusuchen. Alle Filme haben uns auf ihre Art und Weise fasziniert und waren unserer Meinung nach sehr gelungen. Wir haben tolle Charaktere, Drehorte und schöne Landschaften, sehr fantasievolle und auch realistische Filme gesehen. In der Auswahl gab es tolle Familienfilme, genauso wie Auktionen und Abenteuerdarstellungen. Wir haben lange und eifrig diskutiert. Die Entscheidung fiel uns nicht leicht. Wir können den Preis nur an einen Film verleihen. Zunächst aber möchten wir ein großes Lob an den Film Pixie, der kleine Wichtel von Carsten Rudolf aussprechen. Der Film hat uns besonders gefallen, weil das Thema Immigration gut in die schöne Weihnachtsgeschichte eingebracht wurde. So, now I have to translate. In English, because it was about an honorable mention, we would like to honor the film The Christmas Family by Carsten Rudolf. We like the film for the way it integrated the subject of immigration into a lovely Christmas story. Sophia. Jetzt verkünden wir den Gewinnerfilm. Wir haben uns für diesen entschieden, weil er ein unglaubliches Maß an Spannung hat und das Zusammenhalten von drei Geschwistern beeindruckend darstellt. Er zeigt, dass man in brenzligen Situationen einander vertrauen muss und aufeinander zählen kann. This prize, created in 1989 by the Schleswig-Holstein Youth Minister, is awarded by the Nordic Film Days, a youngest jury for children from Lübeck, selected their favorite film for audience 12 and younger of the festival. The prize is endowed with 5,000 euros donated by the Redison Blue Senator Hotel in Lübeck. We chose this film as the winner because it was extremely exciting and because of the impressive way it portrayed the three siblings sticking together. It showed that in dicey situations it's important that people can trust and depend on each other. The winning film for 2015 is... And the winner of 2015 is... <laughs> Operation Arktis von Grete Beval.
So this is the trophy for the winner. Congratulations. I wish I could say this in German, but uh, I failed in German at school, so it would have to be in English. Uh, this is a great honor. Uh, it's a great honor because it's here in Lübeck, uh, where you have really shown over 57 years that you appreciate Nordic films. And it's an even greater honor because what I have learned in my many years in this business is that the only one who really speaks the truth is the children. So, thank you very much. Congratulations. Ja, auch nochmal vielen Dank an unsere Kinderjury, die sich so viel Arbeit gemacht haben. Dankeschön. Now we're going to see two really young, bright talents here on the stage. Um, she had two movies uh, this year um, running, and she played in both movies uh, the main character. The one is uh, Von jetzt an kein zurück, from now on there is no way back. She had a prize for that in, uh, in, in Oldenburg. And the second one was Dora oder die sexuellen Neurosen und der Eltern. Dora or the sexual neurosis from our parents. Oh my goodness. And, uh, um, the, the guy was uh, really a very young talent and he played in many movies, uh, for example in uh, Danny Lovinsky as a child and then he played Tom Sawyer, he had the New Faces Award, a special prize, and in Freistadt, he, or for the film Freistadt, he won the Bavarian Film Prize. Please welcome Victoria Schulz and Louis Hoffmann. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. So, as far as I can remember, I've always um, had that one or two, one movie or two movies in my childhood that were really important to me and um, that were formative and that went with me through my, through my childhood and, and with which I, I kind of grew up. And um, I think that's why, that, that's because during that time, you're you're in a time where you're looking for answers, and and you kind of, and you search for them in in, in the movies you're you're watching, and and you may find them, and you may not. But you also like to get lost in them, in the movies and in the in the stories, and um, many child and, and youth movies are really really well told and, and tell really important really important stories, and. Um, that's why they need to be heard, and that's why they need to be awarded. And I think we had really well told ones in this year's competition, right? Yeah, um, for us um, as a jury, um, we found very interesting that in this year um, of competition, um, many films had the perspective of young girls. And for me, the last days um, were like a journey back to youth, but not only to the good sides, but also um, mostly to the bad sides um, of youth, the dark sides. Because in um, the films we saw as a jury, um, we found many um, topics like disorientation or loss or um, the crash of social values. And um, yeah, these dunkle Seiten haben uns als Jury schon teilweise sehr betroffen. And in the end, we decided to um, give the prize to a movie um, that deals with, with those dark sides, but um, leaves the audience back with a good feeling, um, mit einem Hoffnungsschimmer sozusagen. <laughs> All right, and um, but before, we, we've, before we get to the actual prize, um, we, we have an honorable mention, of course, and uh, this honorable, men honorable mention goes to both the film Zero Point and its lead actor, Matt Pius. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations.
So this prize for the children's and youth film uh, from the awarded by the children's and youth film jury uh, was created in 1983 by the Nordic Film Institute and uh, it has been awarded to the best Scandinavian children's or youth film since 1993. From 2008 on, uh, from 2008 on this prize is endowed with 5,000 euros and donated by Gemeinnützige Sparkassenstiftung zu Lübeck. <laughs> Okay, what the jury says about the winner. Um, the Children's and Youth Film Jury awards its prize to a film that succeeds in depicting the zeitgeist of a generation using a closely woven collage that offers young audiences a broad range of characters to identify with. It is a story of four very different young women on the threshold of adulthood. Badam. And the Children's and Youth Film Prize 2015 goes to <laughs> Toy Set Teetered Other Girls. Pyhäkirja vastaan. Tyhjän perässä juoksia. Hänen turhautunut sydämensä eksittää hänet. Ei hän osaa pelastaa Ei. itseään. Eikä... Mä oon uuden. Mm -mm. Se oli siinä. Elä me anna kuin ihan mahdollisuuden. No okei. Okay. Okei, okay, musta tulee tyhjän perässä juoksia. Eesikas tulee... No suolapatsas. Ja ainoastaan tulee murhaaja. Mm. Okei, okay, Jenni se vuoro. En mä halua. Jenni. Oh. Jenni. Tulee kuitenkin kun saatana Lasarus. Hei. Jenni. Jenni. Okei. Okei, okei, okei. Tästä. Ja pyhäkirja vastaa. Sinä padet heidät hehkumaan kuin pätsin. Kun sinä kasvasi näytä. So I have to, I go all the way up, so. Uh, uh, this is a very surprise. I am, I'm really stunned here to be here. And I, I seem to lost my German speaking abilities right now. So I speak this awful English of mine. But thanks a lot for the jury and, and Lübeck. It's been a great, great pleasure to be here in Lübeck, so I really enjoyed my stay here. So thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> And we get to the next category, ladies and gentlemen, the documentary film, sorry, film prize. Phone is ringing. So, oh, I have a message, sorry. It's a foreign number, that's why I'm looking. It's from the States, that's cool. In German. From Lieber Jared, wir haben Ihre Nachricht bekommen. Sie sind genau der Richtige. Schicken Sie uns doch bitte ein Foto von sich und Ihrem Partner. It's real. I have a message from, 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 from the US, from Hollywood. But they say they want a picture from me and my partner. They, use, they chose the male form of partner. You understand? Not a Bond girl, a Bond boy. So I have to cast a Bond boy now here in the audience. I said, okay, you can help me to find the right Bond boy for my next movie. I said, okay. Yeah, it's okay. We have some good looking guys sitting here. Some really good looking Bond guys. 
who wants to be the next Bond guy? No, he's already an actor. He's not. I need somebody not really used, somebody who is. What about you? Do you want to be the next Bond boy? No, thanks. I'm busy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> ah, so with a baby phone? Yeah. But that's good. Can you see that? That looks, but that looks like an agent device, you know. Yep. It's very good. Do you have your, 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 your documents, your travel documents with you here? Mm, no. No, but, but uh, where are you from? Which country? Uh, Denmark. Denmark. This is a Danish uh, Bond boy. You, you would be my Bond boy. Come on, let's take a picture, okay? <laughs> you mind about kissing scenes in the film? No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay? So you are my next Bond boy. Come on, we make a selfie, you and me. What about the applause here from Lübeck? This is the new Bond boy. Yeah. Very good. A full, ah, 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 ah. Very good. Okay, thank you. I need another Bond boy because I want to, I want to offer a variety of Bond boys. What about you? You look good, guy. Come on, stand up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. An applause for my next Bond boy. What do you think of that guy? What do I think? Yeah, you want? You speak German, English? English? You speak English, where are you from? I'm from Denmark too. From Denmark as All well? All the Bond boys are from Denmark. All the Bond boys are from Denmark. <laughs> do you have your travel documents with you? No. No? Okay, I will take care of you because we'll travel from Moscow, London, New York. I will take you to the Eiffel Tour. May we go on the Eiffel Tour, me and you, and uh, have a great time, I'm you know? Forward. Drinking a coffee, honey. Hold on. Can we make a picture here? It doesn't work the way I want. So what's your name? Thomas. Thomas. Me and you and the next Bond. Yes. Oh, it looks good. De Baba and his Bond boy. <laughs> I love that. Come on, give him a warm applause. <laughs> I see you later. Thank you very much. This is good. Because you need to make a documentation of what you do and uh, and then I send it, and then we will see. I send it to Hollywood, and I'm sure you have a, you're a good choice. The Danish boys, I like the Danish boys. Danish dynamite, yes. Okie dokie. Ladies and gentlemen, we come now to the next category. It's a documentary film prize um, by the trade union of Germany. And there are two guys from Iceland on stage. And I'm a bit jealous uh, because one of those guys uh, man managed to uh, go to drama school in London. I tried. I went to, to the RADA, to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. And I failed, yeah, yeah. But then I went to the Old Vic Theatre School in Bristol, maybe you know it, where Sir Ol Laurence Olivier went to the drama school and I went to the second uh, audition, to a recall. And then I had a call from Hamburg and now I made career at the NDR, so <laughs> it's even better. But now I'm here. So one of those, uh, one of both, uh, he was here on the two, in the year 2000 with the film Angel of Universe. In 2011, he was here with Volcano and received for that the an un certain regard in the film Festspiele in Cannes, also for the film which opened the Nordic Film Days here in Lübeck. It's called Rams. And his partner in that film, he just got an award in the Tribeca Film Festival in New York for the film Virgin Mountain from Iceland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Theodor Juliusson and Gunas, Gunnar Jonsson. Now I have it. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we, we are so proud to be here. It has been <laughs> they have been pleasure to, to be here in, in, in the Nordic Film Days in the beautiful city of Lübeck. <laughs> uh, and we thank all the staff for their help and how nice they have been to us. It's so great. Give them a warm clap. <laughs> we love them all. And of course, we love you all. <laughs> 
So shall we try something um, about love? Because love is love. John is dead. Oh, can we say all together, love? I'm counting uh, one, two, three. And so take, take up your, vo your voice and say, love. <laughs> oh, we start again. One, two, three. Love. Thank you. I'd like to go and kiss you all. And this, this, this different. I know. Kaski afterward. <laughs> when <clears throat> we are so honored to, to present the artwork for documentary film, documentary film, and short film. Both categories is important for filmmakers and the whole, whole, whole world. So I think. So Gunnar, we start with documentary. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Okay, there you are. Okay, before we hand out this prize, there's a special comment from the jury. They want to give an honorable mention. The Lubeck Trade Union Jury Award has an honorable mention to those who dare. And then to the prize. The Confer <laughs> the Confederation of the German Trade Union, Deutscher Gewerkschaft Bund, yeah. <laughs> awards the film prize for a socially and politically committed film from the festival's documentary film program. Mm -hmm. The award is endowed 2,500 euros. Wow. I have my wallet so I can take the money. <laughs> no. no. You don't have okay. that big wallet. <laughs> uh, the jury was impressed at the way the film director succeeded in getting so close to the protagonist. <laughs> the protagonist. The, prota the protagonist. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> During the process of formulating a new constitution, the documentary film prize goes to. Okay, I open the envelope. And, and oh, I look forward mm. to see it. Yes. And you are going to read it. The Democrats. Only fight the system if you if you have the same weapons they are using against you. The system is armed. The system is a prison. And what do you have? Your bare hands? Your legal knowledge? All those become useless weapons. I am in the system and I know how lethal it is. And you can't fight it. You're kidding yourself. So, Gunnar, I can kiss her now. No, just give her the prize. <laughs> Because I kissed you. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> My name is Helle Hansen. I'm from the Danish Film Institute, and we supported the film The Democrats. Unfortunately, the director, Camilla Nielsen, isn't, uh, it's not possible to be here tonight. Since the film had its premiere a year ago, it's been traveling around the world and it's been screened at 60 festivals. This is festival number, number 60. It's, it's been a pleasure to participate in your wonderful festival in your beautiful Hansestadt Lübeck. And it's an honor to receive the award on behalf of Camilla Nilsson. She is sending a greeting for you. Vielen Dank. Good evening, Lübeck, and greetings from Copenhagen. I wanted to thank you for giving us this wonderful award for Democrats, from me and from the entire team. We're very honored and very sorry that we are not uh, at the event tonight to celebrate with you. But I had a wonderful couple of days in Lübeck with wonderful screenings and a great masterclass. And I hope to be back with my next film and see you all again. Thank you very much. This is it was so much fun, we're going to do it again. <laughs> and I hope I won't blow this one, so... I hope it won't be a girl. <clears throat> I, I can kiss men, so <laughs> it's okay. And Gunnar, you are going to take that too. Yes. Uh, that was your choice. Okay, this is for the... Uh, the short film. Mm -hmm. And as before, there's an honorary mention in this category as well. The series that you represent to the short film, Franz to Lock 2, with an honorable mention in this story about two young girls who ask themselves whether their friendship could prove to be something more. Filmmaker Pia Lamster and actresses Gro Svantia Kolhoff and Messia Usakis give the viewer an understanding of a small but important problems of young people. A quiet naturalistic film in which arguments are made with looks and gestures more than with words. Give them a good clap. This was no bad, my friend. Okay. Okay, so take it easy. This went well. So I'm going to try again. This is for the main prize for the short film. Yeah. The Sinister Group, one of the main sponsors of the Nordic Film Days, Lubeck, is the prize donor for the best short film in the Film Forum, the North German sex section of the festival. The Sinister, Sinister Prize is endowed with 3,000 euros. More, more, more. <laughs> And the jury say, the sinister jury bestows this award on a sensitive portrait of everyday life of an older couple that has been working the same farm in Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania for 70 years. This film follows the wonderful protagonist, again, <laughs> protagonists over the course of the year. The well-composed camera work never outtakes the story, one of daily ritual and power plays that illuminates unspoken mutual trust, love, and dependably, dependably, deal. Yeah, yeah. and with that. Yes, so, okay. theater, take it away. And the, uh, the winner is... Oh, the Frauman and she, Sina, Sina, Sina Frau, <laughs> the 
Perryman and his wife. <laughs> Excuse me for my noise. <laughs> Hello, um, thank you very much. And we are two people on the stage because this is Julia, the mm -hmm. co-producer of the film, and she also uh, did the camera. And basically, we made the film together. I told her of the idea of the film on my balcony. And um, then now... Which, which is just... Uh, I'm, I'm the balcony under. Yeah, so. just... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, and now it's four years later, and we're here, and it's incredible. I. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, of course, for the funding, the Mecklenburg Vorpommern uh, Film Bureau and uh, Film Sabine Werkstatt. Mathisen. Yeah, and uh, Arne from the Film Werkstatt Kiel. And, and of Bernd course, Günther Nam also, who, who, who picked, the uh, pick, picked the film um, before Arne was there, and then Arne took over, and he, he, he was great as well. Mm -hmm. And the ferryman. And, and thanks to the ferryman and his <laughs> wife. And we actually, I would like to mention that um, it's a little bit sad because um, we made this film. The ferryman, probably you haven't seen the film. Some of you may, might have seen the film. And um, the ferryman just uh, moved away, actually. He, he lived there all his life. And um, it's part of my life because I was there since I was very little. And um, he just uh, sold the house. Um, got rid of the animals as well, and uh, moved into a, a, a nursing house. And um, so it's, it's, it's history. I'm, I'm happy we were able to make the film, but it's, uh, it's a little bit sad as well. But we are happy anyway <laughs> for the prize. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 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 don't rush, take your time. I love you guys, I love this Icelandic mentality. They, they are really cool boys. I have never been there, although I'm the Nordic guy, but I will come and visit your country. You are really party people, I love that. Very good. By the way, party. Um, in every, yeah, you give, give them a hand. They're really easy going. Thank you. Yes, man. Now it's time for music. If you want to dance, you can dance, whatever. Let yourself go. Um, we're going to see um, a great singer now. Always at this uh, evening at the prize, uh, at the awarding ceremony, we have a show act here. And you have to listen to the music that could be the next soundtrack for my James Bond. For my movie, for the next one. Uh, she's from Norway and uh, her music sounds a bit like um, Tom Waits music, but I don't like to compare. Some people say she sounds like Kate Bush on a um, Liza Minnelli pill. Um, I think she is just herself. She's from Norway, she played in Denmark, she is influ influenced a bit by, by, um, by Swiss music, and she plays the accordion. So you feel the roots and the originality of her music. I love it. So please give her a warm applause. Guro von Germeten. Viel Vergnügen.
Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Es ist wunderschön, hier heute zu sein. And this is a song about love called Come Stand Before Me. Fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 fa. Come stand before me, oh won't you know? Don't you ignore me? Love is not out of fashion, so love me with heartbeats and passion. Fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 yai, fa 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 fa. Come, let me kiss you. I am never okay when I miss you. Love is not out of season, so love me with heartbeats and reason. Come stand before me. Oh, don't you know? Don't you ignore me? Love is not out of fashion, so love me with heartbeats and passion. Fa 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 ya, fa 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 ya ya, fa 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 ya, fa 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 fa. So love me with heartbeats and passion. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Fa 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 yai. Tüssen, zack, danke. Guro von Germetten, thank you very much for the beautiful music. Dankeschön. So now we get to the next category, ladies and gentlemen, to the Interfilm Church Prize. And we are going to see now, or a young lady from Lithuania is going to present this prize. And her fir first big film was The Summer from Sigai. And she received uh, an award at the Berlinale as a European shooting star. And she uh, received a prize also in Vilnius at the International Film Festival for the Best Actress. And the young gentleman we see here, he belongs already to the family because he was here in the last year already and he played with Victoria Schulz uh, von jetzt an kein zurück from the film um, I mentioned before. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Lithuania, Aishte Dirziute and Anton Spieker, Germany. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening, Anton. Yeah, good evening, I see. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're co doing quite well. Um, yes, and we would want to say that it's a really big joy and, of course, a great honor to stand here in front of you and to present these two prizes. Definitely it is, and for me it's even the second time, like Jared already told you. Uh, last year I presented the Youth and Children Award and today the Interfilm Church Prize. Maybe the start of a little series, Hilda, Christian? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think that you are. <laughs> I'll see something up. <laughs> yeah, I think that you are growing up. Yeah, it so seems what, like. what, what are you going to present next year? 
uh, we will see. Okay, and um, this year is special also for uh, Linda Fröhlich. I think I'm quite good with pronunciation, yes? Yes, Linda yeah, Fröhlich. that was quite well. Yes, because um, this woman has been awarded an honorary membership of Interfilm in September 2015, and now it's time for applause. Definitely. And the Interfilm Church Prize will be awarded the 20th time today and is endowed with 2,500 euros donated by the Evangelisch Lutheranische Lutherischer Kirchenkreis Lübeck Lauenburg. And uh, part of the, the Interfilm jury has chosen a film that conveys in an artistically sophisticated way the age old values of the gospel's beatitudes to modern society in a highly irrelevant way. The main character shows kindness to others and also makes his own way in life. Okay, let's talk do more. Who's the winner? Yes. <laughs> Little patient, please. Shall I? Yes, you, now. You, you want to know it or not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The prize goes to Fusey, Virgin Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> Vill du inte bara komma in till bilen? Nej, så att bara stråka det. Men låt mig inte typ bara lägga mig med mitt åt. Jag är så full av att jag har något att göra. Jag vet inte. Har du inte ens något kärlek? Nej. Har du inte ens något kärlek? Nej. Is that not a fame? Yeah, what is it? And the worst is a screen, is it? Nah. Yes, I'm going to get scratched. Chris, I think you're more Christian than I am. Yeah, okay. I can be Christian. Yeah, I think, I think uh, we belong to a solar system and there's like a sun and there's about eight planets and people debate if Pluto is a planet or not. Uh, but I think, you know, what is special about, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that we exist on this planet, you know. It doesn't make sense, but, but what ties us together is, is love. And I think when we were making this film, we were not thinking about Christianity, we were thinking about love. Yeah. Thinking about love. Yeah, I think love is a religion, so. Yeah, love is a religion. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. Is that enough? Is that good All enough? All you need is love. Yeah. And a little bit of money. Of course, of course, of, of course. course. Yeah. So how much did we get? <laughs> Is there a check? Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Sir. He was unstoppable, just. Okay, and um, um, 
I didn't want it to say it before Anton, but I have a surprise. Surprise for me. Um, surprise, just a surprise, maybe for you, maybe Thanks. not. And, um, yes, um, Baltic Jury um, decided to make an honorable mention uh, for actor. Uh, wait, you, you're saying the jury for the Baltic Film Prize? Mm -hmm. Uh, has a special mention for me as an actor. <laughs> well, wow. Uh, I mean, well, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that's uh, that's and, just um, awesome. Thank, thank uh, you. Not, no, I'm so sorry. Um, not for you. It, it doesn't oh. mean that you're a bad actor. No, not at all. You are just brilliant, but, I, I, but I, I, not this year. Maybe next year, okay? I got it. It's, all, all, all good, all, all, it's, all it's okay. We can keep going. <clears throat> no. Keep, keep briefing, keep briefing. It's all good. It's all good? Yeah, it's all good. You, you don't have to touch me. It's all good. Well, okay, it's your choice. I tried. Yeah, can Everyone saw it. Please, can you oh, please okay. tell us now so, to whom the prize is presented? Yeah, the Baltic Jury gives a special mention to a talented actor who, in his humble way, manifests pure goodness, compassion, and love as the character Fusi from Virgin Mountain, Gunnar Janssen. <laughs> and now it's time for Baltic Film Prize. All righty then. Um, 1991 was not the year, only the year where um, Aista was created, but also some filmmakers from uh, the Baltic, Baltic uh, countries created a, a prize and an award for some outstanding feature films from the northern countries. Yeah, and that's a very special moment for me as long as I'm, as you hear, from Lithuania. So the Baltic jury gives its award to the emotionally charged, witty, and unique story about brotherhood, belonging, and the power of nature. And this, I think, the heaviest prize. Yeah, I think so too. It's oh, quite a thing <laughs> you want to I know, No, I don't want to try, I don't want to try. <laughs> so, this lovely prize goes to... Ta -da -da -da. I think um, this day is a very lucky day for this brilliant, lovely, amazing diamond from Iceland. <laughs> and a huge congratulations to Rams! <laughs> Begin to Við förum með þér á fjall. Á fjall? Já, kvannalindir. Well, this is such a great honor. Um, I would first like to thank the jury. Um, Secondly, I would like to thank the whole festival. Um, I've been here since Tuesday. It's been, uh, the time has flied away. It's been fantastic. Uh, and all the people are so friendly. And it's a great city. And I really like the marzipan and the kebabs. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Um, um, yeah, I'm really happy and I spoke to my four year old daughter like two days ago and she was asking like what is happiness? She don't, doesn't really know what happiness is. And you know we talked a bit about it and, and then she said like um, Daddy I miss you. Uh, for me that is happiness. And uh, so I felt really happy but I'm also really happy now and I, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Looks like it's going to be the Icelandic night. Whoa. So, I received a message, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the guys uh, from Hollywood are really happy with the picture, with the Bond boys and everything. And, uh, no, really, they loved your face and the way you were on the photo. And on top of that, they loved the people in the background. They said, what a fantastic, good-looking audience here. And they started Googling Lübeck because they didn't know what Lübeck is. What the hell is Lübeck? And they want to make the next James Bond in Lübeck. With you guys, der nächste James Bond mit den Lübeckern. Stellt euch das mal vor. Haben wir jemand hier von den Lübecker Nachrichten? Hier schreibt ihr schon, hagert da rein. Ne? Wir haben alles komplett. Wir haben den Bond, wir haben die Bond Boys. Wir haben ein fantastisches Publikum hier sitzen. Why are you looking so angry? It's good. By the way, you could be the bad boy in the Bond, eh? Yes, 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 yes. You speak German? You speak German? Very good. Can I, can I have a cat? Can I have a cat? Yes. Come on. Let me send a cat here. Come on. <laughs> Put a cat on your arm and give me a smile, then I take a picture, I send it to the boys. Yes. Can we see that? Yes. This is, yes, 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 yes. Very good. We have a bad boy. You have to speak English with a German accent. I'm gonna destroy, like, you know, I'm gonna destroy the whole world. Can you say that? Like, thank you for traveling with Deutsche Bahn, you know. <laughs> Please, one, one more time. One. I'm gonna destroy the whole world. Can you pass the microphone? I'm gonna destroy the whole world. <laughs> We have it, ladies and gentlemen. Und dann stellt ihr mal vor, der James Bond schnackt auch noch Pladütsch. Was? Sagt er, ey, Miss Moneypenny, fahr mal das Auto vor. Ich muss noch in der Timdorf oben Kutter. Was ist denn hier los? Das ist doch mal James Bond, oder? Okay. It's enough. It's enough. Okay, wir kommen nun zum Publikumspreis der Lübecker Nachrichten. Now we get to the audience prize of the Lübecker Nachrichten. And... Um, We're going to see a guy from where? From Iceland, of course, <laughs> here on stage. He is a director, he is a producer, he is a writer, and he, is a, he belongs to the family here. Um, he was here with the Sveppi, with the, kinder, with the, with the children's film, and uh, he is um, a writer from the serial from Iceland called Serie Bubarnir. This is a kind of Muppet show from Iceland I saw on the internet. It's really fascinating. You have to watch. And a young lady from Sweden. She's really amazing. She's here with the film Flocken. And uh, I'm really glad to know her. And she was here in the 2010 with the film Sebi. Please welcome Eva Melander from Sweden and Bragipor Henriksson. Iceland. Good evening. Good evening. So in case you're wondering who's who, which is which, I am uh, Braille, and she's uh, the, uh, the actress. The actress from Sweden, yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> and it truly is a great honor to receive audience prize, the biggest jury in the festival, 4,500 people. Imagine those people sitting in a, in a room together and talking like, do you think this or do you think that? Or No, then just do it by themselves mm -hmm. and go home. Uh, you. No, I'm not going to be a Bond boy. Stop calling me, okay? A Bond boy? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's what they've been calling about. Uh, to the formalities then. Yes. Huh? Um, This is the oldest prize of the festival. 
and it was founded in 1979 by the newspaper Lübecke Nachrichten. Yeah. Is that, yeah, yeah. Since 1993, it includes a prize money currently amounting to 5,000 euros. Uh, the prize is awarded to a feature film on the basis of an audience ballot. And the winner is? The winner is? I'll do that. You do that. Daur Kauri, Fusi, Virgin Mountain. Prófaðaftur, hafa hæri fót tilbúin, strax í snúningin, 1, 2, 3, titla, 1, 2, 3. Again, I, I think we have to keep in mind that the universe is 13.8 billion <laughs> uh, years old, and uh, certainly this is a high point in our, our personal lives. Uh, uh, but it equals maybe the Ice Age or World War II, you know, if you see it in the big perspective. But wh what do you say, Gunnar? I just want to say thank you to the people who voted for us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks to the audience. Gunnar, when, when we made this film, what were we thinking? Were we thinking about the audience? No, no, no. no we were thinking about, yes. we were thinking about lunch time. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Thank you, Thank you audience. very much. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know. Never say never. <laughs> you got it, eh? Took some time. I have a camera here. It's not for me, for the next James Bond. It's for the next um, artist on stage. Can you give them, because they're young guys here from Lübeck, really young talents, I just make the camera here in the audience to show you, and then I call their names, and you make really some big noise. Young talents from here, they're dancers, they dance uh, uh, hip-hop, uh, breakdance, acrobatics, house, everything. They dance at the West Side Story here in Lübeck, and uh, there are three dance companies who came together, and you will see legs are flying, acrobatic, everything. You can dance, you can scream, you can throw everything on stage, if you then have, have anything under, you can take from the neighbor and throw it on stage. Whatever. Feel at home, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, they have the name Hang Mitter Gang. H-M-D-G. Please welcome H-M-D-G. Come on.
Hey, mit 46 Jahren, komm, ist nicht schlecht, oder? It's okay. Now we get to the next category. It is uh, the NDR Film Prize, and I'm really happy to see a very good talent. She studied acting in Hamburg, and uh, her first uh, or her first film was Mein Freund aus Faro, and she was here um, at the. NFL, the Nordic Film Days in Lübeck in 2008, and with the film uh, Krei, she went for the Oscars, was nominated for the Golden Globe, and then she had an award in a Russian festival and won the Golden Adler, the Golden Eagle, as we say in English, and you know how hard it is to get a prize as a foreign actor in Russia, because they are very great actors, so this is, I think, going to be a heavy weight, and ladies, I think the man we're gonna see here now is the perfect Bond man. He's from Sicily, he's Italian, he's good looking. He has played in the most important movies in Italy and with the most important directors. So, buonasera, benvenuti, an Jorka Strechel und Enrico Loverso. Mille grazie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now we come to the main prize, the NDR Jury Prize. Enrico, have you seen these great show stairs? Why weren't we allowed to use them? Yes, let's come back, please. I'm sorry, okay. You know, I was thinking about doing a breakdance show too. You know, <laughs> like I did in the rehearsal, but after this show, I mean, these boys were amazing, weren't they? Yeah. My yeah. God. Incredible. So, so, so sorry. we can't do it, so let's right. go I know. back. We have the okay. honor to give out the NDR jury. No, but I mean, you come from Italy, right? I'm curious Same. about what do you Same. think about Lübeck? It's complicated in English, so, uh, well, can you translate for me if I yeah, say yeah. something? Yeah. So, uh, oh, please. So, ich bin sehr stolz und froh hier zu sein. Uh, I'm very proud and happy to be here. Stolz, weil ich bin der erste und uh, erste italienische, sogar sizilianische. Mm. I'm very proud because I'm the first Italian and also even Sicilian. Schauspieler in der Jury in der Nordische Filmtage Lübeck. Of the jury in this Nordic Film Days in Lübeck. So, vielen Dank, Linda und Christian, für diese Ehre. Thanks, Linda and Christian, for this great honor. And froh, weil ich in uh, einer wunderschönen Stadt bin. Happy because I'm this in this beautiful city. Ich habe Filme gesehen habe. Uh, I've seen a lot. Have you eaten uh, Marzipan? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> no, I did. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ich uh, angenehm diskutiert. I have with my colleagues of the jury, now friends. I discussed very well and had a nice conversation with my colleagues and now friends from yes. the jury. Yes, Maria, Donald, Bill, and Clara Weiser, do you work Yeah, Maria, yeah. Donald, Bill, and uh, me. So let's go back to the subject. Yeah, sorry, okay. <laughs> All right, now, uh, we click. go on. All right, so spend some time. Thank you, Susan. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, the NDR. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh no, you're first. Ah, I'm first. Yeah, yeah you sure. are. Yes, because we have an um, honorable mention to Gita Norby, Lily, and Sven Walter, who was pilot, Eric, for their ex excellent performances in the film 
key house mirror. Um, All right, but now we have the category. The NDR Film Prize for Best Feature Film and Competition, endowed with 12,500 euros, has been awarded annually since 1990 for a feature film of special artistic quality. The film should reflect society in an independent creative language and open up new perspectives in terms of content and aesthetics. 2015, the NDR Film Prize jury honors a film made by an ambitious and highly talented young filmmaker that, without using war images, combines brilliant images of nature and terrific acting to address an important contemporary issue. Wars not only destroy the countries in which they are fought, they also damage everyone who is involved in them. Our prize goes to Ovende Tilbake. Returning home. Kom du ikke hjem igjen? Jeg trengte litt ro. Ro? Hva er det du prater om? Alt samme, sa jeg. Du, du har vært borte en evighet, og det første du gjør når du kommer inn er du da på jakt. Mamma er ikke frisk, og det vet du. Du skulle bare visst hvor mye Fredrik hadde gledet seg til å se deg igjen. Ja, ja, ja. Det virker som om du bare gir faen i alt. Det holder nå. Um, I'm so surprised to get this award um, and um, first of all I have to thank the jury for, for liking this film so much that they gave it this award so thank you so much and also thank you to the festival for choosing the film and also screening the film and taking such good care of me these days. Um, I also have to thank uh, Stine Oppegård at the Norwegian Film Institute who you know getting the f is getting the film out there. Um, uh, but first of all, and from my heart, uh, all my, you know, my thanks go to my, my crew and my, my cast, my, my young actors and my, you know, we were seven, eight people behind camera making this film for 150,000 euros. Um, it was, we, we shot it for 13 days and we had only 40 reels of 35 mil uh, film. So uh, it's, it's very, it's a very small film, but it's a very important film for me and it's a very personal film for me. Uh, and I produced it, I directed it, I wrote it, and I did it with my little brother who was 20 years old when he shot this film uh, in the mountains in Norway. So it's, a very, it's, it's about coming of age and it's about, bro it's about brotherhood. Uh, so we, you know, it's all based on our relationship. So it's, it's very dear to us and it's a very special movie for us. So thank you, thank you so much for, for you know, recognizing the film. Thank you. So, stay on stage, stay on stage. Congratulations. So, that was the first part of the awarding night. Das war jetzt der erste Teil von der Filmpreisnacht. Und jetzt bitte ich nochmal alle Preisträger zu mir auf die Bühne. All the winners, please come on stage for a final picture. And you stay in the room because we want to give them uh, respect here when they come on stage. And afterwards we go to party and to dance. And before we leave the room, I'd like to mention one project, the Crisis Cuisine. The Crisis Cuisine, that was a very great um, um, idea for this festival because film is a very slow medium and this is a very spontaneous idea to... Um, yeah, come on, come on stage, come on stage, come on stage. And you can... It's your moment.
Congratulations. Bitte schön, hallo. Gratuliere. So, we put everybody together. So, Linda und Christian, das kommt auch noch mal aufs Foto. Bitte. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. The winners of the 57th Nordic Film Days here in Lübeck. And thank you to all the sponsors who made this evening possible. Thank you to all the hands behind, in front, left and right from the stage who made this festival possible. The winners of this year. This is your applause, your audience. Come on, raise the trophy for the picture. Yeah, come on. So I hope you had a good night, a good evening so far. If we all will be in the next James Bond, you will read it in the Lübecker Nachrichten. Thank you very much. And we're going to see you at the bar. And I want to drink with my Bond boys, okay? See you at the bar. Enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>